Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 16 inch rat wheel, or at least how I made it. So first of all, you will need a few things. In my case, I used a three gallon oil pan, which is 16 inches by four inches. I got this off Amazon, but you can often find them at local hardware stores. Um, I will link the one that I got in the description, so if you wanna check that out. Anyways, the next thing you'll need is a fidget spinner. For me, this was just something I got from my brother, but you can just get the cheapest one that you can find online or in store. When you get them, they will sometimes have these little plastic things covering the holes. You can get these caps off by just using a screwdriver to leverage up the plastic and then just pulling it off, which is what I did. Now the next few things you'll need are some screws and nuts, and really I have no idea what these things are called, so I'm just going to try to describe them. Now in my case, the first screws I used were a little too long and they were around a fourth of an inch thick, which is why I actually drilled the holes so wide. So I ended up using these shorter screws you see on screen now because it turns out that if I use the longer ones, they would hit against the PCV pipe I'm using as the stand because the middle screw I have is not long enough. So just keep that in mind when you're buying screws, you do need everything to match up together. So yeah, I used these three screws here and I also had three nuts that corresponded to the screws. You're also going to need a larger screw, which in this case, I got a three inch bolt and they probably make larger ones. Personally, I'm probably going to go ahead and find a four inch one at some point if that's possible. But since I only had a three inch one available, that's what I ended up using. I also had a nut that was fitted to that screw and also a lock nut, which is also fitted to that screw. And a lock nut is basically a nut with a little plastic piece in it that stops the nut from being screwed in more. You're also going to need a large washer, a medium washer, and two small washers. And of course, these all need to be able to go over the long screw itself. Okay, so the final things you'll need if you're making a stand for your wheel like I did are some PCV pipes. For this, I just went out to my local hardware store. Um, I think it was Home Depot, but it might've been somewhere else. And I basically got a bunch of one half inch and one inch pipes. So I got two one and a half inch elbow pieces, one one and a half inch T piece, three one and a half inch caps. And then I also got two two feet long one inch pipes. And the reason for this is because I couldn't find any long pipes there that were one inch across. And so I just had to get the longer ones and cut it myself, which was not fun, but I just used an ordinary saw to do that. So if you have to do something similar, then it's not too hard to cut through them. Okay, so to start making the wheel, I took my large three gallon pan and I drilled a hole in the center of it. Now the way I got to the center is kind of not the best way to do it, at least I don't think it is. I basically drew a bunch of lines and then found where the center was. I'm sure there's a better way because I'm pretty sure this can get you off center, but in my case it worked really well and I just drilled where I made the little center dot. And I should also mention that it's a good idea to make a little indent where you want the drill to drill, otherwise it's going to go everywhere and it can kind of mess up your holes. Anyways, moving on, once you've made that first center hole, you're going to need to make three more holes. And to do this, you want to put your fidget spinner over the center hole and then make three more holes where the little arms of the fidget spinner are. So the way I did this was I taped down the fidget spinner and then I drilled where those holes are to make my first entry marks. And then I took off the fidget spinner and finished drilling through them. Um, it's probably better to do this a little bit differently, maybe marking where the holes are and then drilling. So once I got my three fidget spinner holes, that's pretty much all the prep work we have to do for the wheel part. And I went ahead and assembled my stand. So to start off, I wanted to make the hole where I'm going to be attaching my wheel in the stand on the mount part. So I got out my 16 inch pipe and I put a cap over it and then I drilled a hole through the center where I wanted the wheel to be. Now you can actually drill a few different holes here and that way you can move where the wheel is, uh, how close it is to the ground or how close it is to the ceiling or whatever. I only drilled one hole myself, but again, you can make however many holes you want. And the next thing I did was I assembled the rest of the stand. I went ahead and put together all the pipes like you see on screen. And at this point, you should have a pan which has holes in it. You should also have the stand, the upper part of the stand which has the holes in it for the wheel to attach. And then of course, all your screws and nuts and washers and stuff like that. So the next thing to do is just to assemble the wheel. 
The way to do this is you first put your fidget spinner on top of the holes on the outer part of the wheel, and then you want to put through your little screws on the side parts of the fidget spinner and screw them in with nuts. And then you want to put your long screw through the wheel. And first you want to put on your large washer so it's on the long screw itself. And then you want to put that through the wheel. And then on the other side, you want to put another washer, in this case, the medium one. And then you want to screw on the normal nut. Then you want to put on the two small washers. And then you'll put the long screw through the PCV pipe holes. And then you want to put on your lock nut, or if you're using a normal nut, just put on your normal nut. And you want to try to make this nut as tight as possible so it doesn't come undone when your rats are using the wheel. And I should mention the other nut, which you have against the wheel itself, should be a little bit more loose so that the wheel can actually spin. So the next thing you want to do is put your wheel on the stand. So I just went ahead and attached my PCV pipe with the wheel on it to the PCV pipe stand. And that's that. And yeah, that's the entire wheel, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I just wish that it could be a little bit less noisy. I think that my problem right now is that the screws are just not long enough, and by the screws I mean the one in the middle. I feel like once I get the longer screw, I'll be able to fiddle with stuff more, so I'll be able to actually make it a lot more, not just quiet, but more sturdy at the other end, because I'll have more room to put on the washer. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's very easy to turn this wheel here into a cage mounting wheel if you want that. All you have to do really is attach it to a piece of wood or something like a Lazy Susan and then take that and bolt it to the cage itself. So not really a huge modification. Now here you can see me making a backing of sorts that could attach the wheel to the cage. It's just made of a wood block with three holes drilled into it. One for the middle hole and that's where the long screw in the wheel goes through and then two four separate screws which when pushed through i can then attach to the cage with some washers and a nut now i do have to say that this isn't the best way to attach it to the cage because it's not very stable i suggest that if you're going to attach the wheel to the cage you either buy a lazy susan or if you're using wood like I am here, you drill on each of the four corners and then attach a separate screw there. And then you also drill a hole in the center for the center screw of the wheel to go through. So yeah, I was not going to actually attach it to the cage. This was just me making a little bit of an example of how you could do it. So definitely don't follow exactly what I did here because it's not enough support for the full wheel. At least I don't think it is. So I would go ahead and do four corners, no matter what you're doing, if it's metal or wood, you just want enough support for the entire wheel. Personally, I prefer the stand, so that's why I made it like this. But yeah, this is pretty much all I did. And you can see the rats now are running on it and enjoying it, and they figured it out pretty fast. I don't think they had any issues switching to it, and they just seemed to really enjoy running on it. So yeah. I think it's a nice cheap alternative to buying one of the wheels online and it's also just a fun project to do. I mean I had most of these things around the house so why not use them? So yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed and if you decide to make a wheel tell me how it turned out. Bye!